Susie and friends. Do, 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 do. Okay, Emmett did a great job of inspiring us into doing some finger knitting. Now we've got to get ourselves sorted. First of all, we need some wool. Okay, you can choose thin wool like this and lots of fabulous colours, or you can go for thick wool like I have. So we find the end and we take off a whole lot of wool and then we start with a tail. An open hand like this, hold the tail with your thumb and you're going to wrap it around your fingers, behind your pointing finger, in front of your tall finger, behind your ring finger, and then around your baby finger. Okay, and then back again. You're going to weave it around. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then one more time. Actually, make it one more time, and you've got two loops on every finger and that's what you need. Push the loops down a little bit and then take the bottom loop up over the top loop and the end of your finger and you start with the same finger every time. So I'm going to start with my little pinky and then move across the row of fingers taking that loop up and over. and over. Pull it tight, both ends of the string or wool, and then do it again in front of your pointing finger, behind your tall finger, in front of your ring finger, and right around your pinky. Behind, in front, behind. Let's see, we've got two loops. We sure have. So we start again with our pinky. And we go over, over, and over. Pulling it tight. And again. So this is what we're going to do for our finger knitting. Weave the wool in front, behind, in front, behind, and then pull the bottom loop over the top loop. Now when you've done it a few more times, you'll be able to see how it's starting to develop here. Keep it down low on your fingers, otherwise it could slide off as you're pulling those loops over. Remember starting on the same finger each time, so starting on your pointing finger to wrap, and then starting on your pinky to lift the wool over. Now, if at some stage your fingers are getting tired, you need to take a break, you've been called for lunch or dinner or something like that, all you need to do, once you've reached a certain stage and your wool is nice and tight, is grab a pencil or a chopstick or a crochet hook and slide the wool off onto the pencil. We go under and onto the pencil and then slide it off. Just like that. And when you're ready to start again, you take your wool on the pencil and put your fingers back through the loop. Now you want all the wool, all the finger knitting behind your hand. Okay, sitting there like that. 
and we just start finger knitting again, weaving that wool around your fingers. And we're almost at the end of our wool. So to finish off, we've got one loop on our each finger. We take that loop off, put it on this finger, and take the bottom loop off like that, keeping it nice and tight. We take this loop onto the next finger. Take the bottom loop over and pull it nice and tight. Again. Until we've got the one loop and we're going to take our wool, thread it through and finish it off. Pulling it nice and tight like that. And there we have our finger knitting. Of course it would normally be much, much longer than this. But that's just to show you how to get started and how to finish. But you don't just have to knit with wool. You can finger knit with just about anything. How about a plastic bag? I've just cut a plastic bag into a long, thin ribbon. I'll show you how to do that in another video. You can even finger knit with an old t-shirt. This works out really thick. And again, I've just cut an old t-shirt into a thin ribbon. Going round and round from the hem of the shirt. slide it back onto your fingers and away you go. Mm. <laughs> Might pay to take the tag out of it first. Okay, take up the finger knitting challenge. Give it a go. Come back and watch these videos as many times as you like. And how about you subscribe for more? See you next time.